I've committed several atrocities, and um, if any of you mention them to anybody else, um, you will be silenced. You know by who? Nope. Nope, not you. Who? Um, by Craig knows. Me? Say it. I can't. I'm under NDA. Well. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is it our guest today? Lacey, who is it? Oh. I don't know. Well, good, good. That's good. Then you'll so, never yeah, see him coming. Way. He'll throw open the door. He'll go, soda! And then shoot you in the head. <laughs> it's fucking Joe Byron? Joe, Joe Byron is my... Wow. Um, is, wow. Yeah, he's, he's my agent. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. I'm only welcoming you here now because we have a guest today, yeah. uh, which is Lacey, who's Craig's wife. We, we, if you've watched any episodes of these podcasts, you, you, you should know who she is, but she's here now. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Um, this is going to be really stupid and dumb. And um, yeah. what did you say right before we started this? You said, um, are you prepared to face the full force of my autism? My unbridled autism. Hell yeah. Yes. Let's do this. So excited. So um, It feels kind of strange that Craig is off camera and you're on camera. They've seen, yeah. They yeah. now have seen they, more of you, you than they have camera. ever seen of Craig on all like 92 episodes of this podcast. He said that on the way over here too. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, so, uh, okay. So yesterday we all, like all, us five and uh, Marshall and Tyler and Grace and um, Maddie and Sabin and uh, who did anybody else come? You? It was there. Yeah. Sorry, you said the five of us. Oh, there's four. Yeah. Uh, no, I was counting. Jesus, uh, we saw the D and D movie, and um, well, I that we we have, we're obligated to talk about it now. And by obligated, I mean I'm just making us talk about it because I wanted to talk about it because when we were talking about it on the way home. When we were driving back, we had some things. I was like, I want to save this for the podcast because yeah. uh, I want to talk about it. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, surprised. I thought it was going to be a lot, I wouldn't say worse, but a lot cheesier. I thought it was going to be way goofy. It was pretty goofy and pretty cheesy, but there were parts I was like, that was genuinely very, very cool. And some parts were pretty funny. I don't think I ever thought a part was cringe, but I did think there were some parts that I was just like, eh, okay. But there was some other, but for the most time, I had a fun time watching the movie. Um, I, I, I was sitting in, in my seat multiple times screaming at the, at the screen, um, to a point where Tyler got, uh, uh, like upset because I, I, <laughs> Every time we go to the fucking movies, I am relegated to the end because I, am, I cannot be in between everybody because I, I, I am apparently a disturbance. But I had you, you on my left and I had Tyler on my right and then nobody else. Um, oh, and I think you were next to Spencer. Yeah. So like l really like very little interaction that I, I could have, could which you is hear him? probably for the best. Uh, every so often I could. Yeah. <laughs> which so means... The couple that was just past Tyler could also hear you. Whatever. <laughs> you know, I, I, you let me have this. I, uh, <laughs> I told Craig all of your best comments. Yeah, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Were you really? Were you yeah. just like yeah, fucking yeah. translating? <laughs> you were like, <laughs> Jake was fucking yelling about that goddamn fat dragon it's again. Because you always had a comment every time I had a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Same fucking Connected. brain cell. Hell yeah. No, I, I was just excited to see Thembershot. All right. I thought yeah. he was going to be in the movie. And I was like, we'll see. We'll see. Because there was a little hint in the trailer. I was like, that'd be funny if it was Thembershot. But it could just be a new whatever dragon they're going to put in. It was all big and fat. And I was like, that's Thembershot. If it's not Thembershot, I'm pissed. And then the one guy was like, Thembershot. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I just fucking lost it. I couldn't help it. He's a big fat um, dragon that's in Out of the Abyss, and he's real cute, and it was kind of cool to see him. But it, I, I was fucking. Um, I, I was gonna say that I was the Leonardo DiCaprio meme, the one where he's sitting on the on the thing. He goes, eh, eh, and he goes like that. But I was not that. I was more the screaming Wojak, the one that's like, Ugh! like that. That was actually me the entire movie. Yeah. So um, I had a fun time. I don't know if anybody else did, but I had a great time. It was so fun. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, Spencer, what did you think about the movie? Uh, I had a good time. That uh, that paladin man is... Mm -hmm. He was so cool. The sexiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you know uh, there's already 30 fan fictions uh, okay. on AO3? You know, after... <laughs> about him? after 30? 30 already? 30? After we left, there was a mention of... 
you looking up fanfics about that was yes. not even not and even like, like an hour had passed it I, been 15 <laughs> minutes and craig was like Lacey's looking up fanfics." i was like i, I could know. also <laughs> I didn't though, but I'm oh, glad cool. to know that there are. And that did you read it? Ev- no, oh. but every time I see something new, I have to go check if the fandom's active yet because <laughs> that's the best part. And <laughs> they already hit all of the main tropes. Of so. course, hell yeah. You know what? I'm gonna investigate when we're done here. The first investigate. Yeah, we, we walked it's out of the smoother. theater. Why are you? <laughs> why are you shaking your head, Craig? Because if my wife lists. The things. No, I wasn't going to do that. Good. You should not. <laughs> okay. But I was going to say, when we walked out of the theater... What did Mia say? Um, she asked me in the car when we were going home if uh, I thought that the paladin was autistic. And I was like, <laughs> how'd you know? <laughs> he walked on screen and I immediately, like, I was like, that that man's autistic. He just kept that walking straight yeah. and he yeah. walked yeah. right over that, that, over that, that, uh, that like, boulder. Yep. The tracks. Yeah. And that's yeah. the first, like, the biggest tag on the first work in, on AO3 is... This autistic. man is autistic? Yeah, autistic character. Oh. And I was like, hell yeah. That's great. Yeah. Uh, that that's great. that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, Craig, you got any comments from the Dungans and Dargans uh, movie? Yeah, uh, well, what, what's the tagline? Don't call it that. Honor among thieves. thieves? Yeah. Yeah. Nuts, yeah. got yeah. them, dude. <laughs> uh, got I went in with really low expectations. I saw that one trailer for um, Speak with Dead. Yeah. And I yeah. thought it was really fucking cringy and stupid. Are you serious? I thought it was really dumb. I was Aww. like, this is going to be utter shit. Um, but I'm going to go. I'm excited to go with because we had like 11 people. Yeah. Yeah. And I got Lace to go. So I was like, it's going to be fucking blast regardless of what it is. Mm hmm. And it was really good. Good. I'm yeah, glad. I, it blew me away. I had a mm-hmm. lot of fun. Um, that scene was probably one of my favorites. The, I, actually, it, that was, it, I think, is, my, one of my favorite expanded, parts of the movie. It's a lot more fun. The whole part where they're ra- they're speaking with Dead, that whole segment was like, I didn't know it would go on that long, and it was yeah. really funny. Like, I, I, yeah. yeah. It, it was very good. Um, yeah, I mean, we could talk at, uh, at nauseum about it, but I'm yeah, yeah. pleasantly surprised about how mm-hmm. good it was. Um. I only have a. Th- we were talking on the way back. She said the only thing that she wasn't like super happy with was like what was it that like Chris Pine's character? His name is Ed Ginn. Uh, I, I thought it was Ed Win. It's Ed Ginn with yeah, a G. Yeah, with a G. Uh, people are already making edging the bard jokes. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Th- that's that's what we were talking about. He's not a fucking bard. He just plays a lute sometimes. That does not make him a bard. He has to cast spells. Bards have magic, and I didn't see any fucking magic that he casted. He didn't cast one spell. He just walked around and said things and uh hit 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 with his loot a few times, but he that's did. all he did. So we were like, is he just a commoner? Like, is he just like, <laughs> Spencer said Subdued. like really well, she was like, it was cool that there was a lot of like stereotypes within D and D that were like there. Like, cause obviously like we were both kind of in agreement, but, like because it's a movie and because the previous movie they made in like 2003 was so bad that they kind of have to reestablish themselves in this scene as something kind of, what we say is like for normies, like mm-hmm. you have to be able to be able to take somebody who doesn't know anything about D and D to watch this. And you have to go into that with that kind of expectation, which I did. Um, but, uh, it, it is kind of weird that it's like, we've got stereotypical sorcerer, stereotypical druid, stereotypical barbarian lady and uh paladin as well. Also pretty stereotypical. And then Edgin's just, it like we I kind of just don't know. He's just kind of a guy. Like she said, it feels like everybody else is level ten and he's level one. <laughs> it was just kind of weird because like sure, as a as like a movie goer, you're gonna be like, yeah, that's our blank slate, you know, white male family man character that we can insert into this. That you know, a large majority of our audience is just to self insert into anyways. Um, and he kind of needs to not have a whole lot of abilities. Fine, but it is kind of weird that he didn't have like any <laughs> like we're uh, uh tyler and i were saying that he's like a mastermind rogue because he stealths but he doesn't have a good dexterity so he's like a charisma rogue because he plans and he bonus action helps and sometimes most of the hits that he gets in are like sneak attacks so but it is kind of weird to go like they made the like, character sheets for them and he's like a bard and it's like mm-hmm. my guy did not cast any spells he's not a bard well 
Yeah. You do, I guess you, don't. you can make an argument, I guess, for bardic inspiration, but that's, that's yeah, you're right. Really, kind of you're it. Right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. The I, I, yeah. He definitely did use bardic inspiration, but that's, it was not on the level of <laughs> wild shape, wild magic, um, yeah. and and like rage. Like, yeah, yeah. So that was it. But. I kind of enjoyed that he was so useless. <laughs> I thought it was endearing. I agree. And I also really liked that they didn't just shit on his plans constantly. Like yes. that's such a trope to be like, I'm yeah. the goofy main character and here's my plans. And the other characters are like, we're not going to listen to you. Yeah. I like that they did listen to him and they did rely on his plans and his plans sometimes worked. That was, I, I fucking hate the all, all of the trope where it's just like, okay, everybody hates this kind of character because it, they're always represented like stupid idiots who don't know what they're doing. But I like that he was kind of like the heart of their group. Like he was constantly encouraging them and it wasn't like cringy and stupid. And they were like, shut up. I don't like you. They were mm -hmm. like, Oh, that actually is something that means something to me. And I'm going to try to be a better sorcerer now because of that. Like uh, that's cool. And I like that shit. <clears throat> I agree. The yeah. only part of the movie that threw me off is when Holga goes back to her like ex-husband's house and you <laughs> see him and it's just Bradley Cooper. I was like... <laughs> was it really Bradley Cooper? It was Bradley Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> it but was Bradley in the, Cooper. In the moment, I was like, who the fuck is that? Goddamn <laughs> rocket raccoon? Yeah. You made him think he can only be small now. They only make him little. <laughs> uh, when I saw that too, was he supposed to be a halfling? Yeah. I assume so. I assume as much too, but he just kind of looked like a little guy. <laughs> like He yeah. just looked I like was, he got shrunk. I was expecting like hobbits and then yeah, i got too yeah they're just, they're just, just like, what <laughs> um it was very obvious too that they used lord of the rings like um like uh the, the camera the, angles yeah yeah, the yeah, camera, yeah exactly. it was, it was, which i really liked i thought that was cool god damn it at the end of the movie when they're getting all their medals <laughs> she it's not happening and she's like she like bites her lip she's like I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking she funny. She knows what she likes. Dude, there was some funny shit in that movie. Like when the druid, when she's an owlbear and they finish off that lady. And she, like I was expecting, oh, it's going to be like Hulk, you know, when he like throws Loki around. But they go like <laughs> two steps further. Like she, they're like, I don't think you got her. And then she like mauls her and then like throws her into a wall. I was like, whoa. Yeah. It was so good. I loved it. Like there, there was, there were, there were some moments where the humor was just, it was just fine. Like it was okay. But the, there was other parts where I was like, I was dying. Like that when they're trying to get the portal into the um, into the carriage, <laughs> the guards yes. go by, and like Olga's got the sorcerer, has got Simon, and <laughs> like, she just looks like she's like railing him in the woods. And I was like, whoa! And the guards <laughs> don't stop. Yeah. They're just like, huh? <laughs> they just keep going. <laughs> I God loved, damn it. I loved it too because it, it felt authentic like it was something that you'd see at someone's yeah, dumbass table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So um, there, was, there was good shit. There was good shit. And I, I had a lot of fun watching it. Towards the end with the final battle, you and I were just like, oh, that's Thunderwave. And we were just naming like every yeah. spell, which was super fun. I, I had a good time during that. So I liked yeah. that Simon had a bag of holding. Yeah, he did have bag. That's and I was like, why is Edgin always handing stuff to him? And you were like, because he has a bag of holding. And I was like, oh, <laughs> hold this. That's hold so this. funny. Hold this. He just puts it in there. Yeah. That's that's fun. That's so cool. Um, and uh, I I will admit the 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 not the ending, but near the end, mm -hmm. the sad part. It it did it, it made one tear, one little tear. I was like, mm. but it's probably just because I also have a daughter, so. It, Probably just probably why. <laughs> the ending was my only complaint. I think. Yeah. From a writer's perspective, I think that. Hang on. Spoilers. Yes, spoilers. Oh, yes. We spoiled a spoilers. lot of shit, yeah. but yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if anything was really a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. This definitely skip, is. Skip, this is skip for sure a, a little bit ahead spoiler. if you want to spoil this. Yeah. Spoiler. Good. We can talk about the ending. Um. The so she dies right, mm -hmm. and then it, it immediately undoes, and then. I feel like that completely negates like the whole emotional impact of everything that just happened. And mm. then it, it made it feel a little bit arbitrary. Although yeah. it's kind of tough to criticize it because that's kind of part of D and D too. Yeah. So. yeah, that was the th that I agree with you. It was like it was real. It was real. I, like I, the second she had the blade in her, I was like, I know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Here. So and so like it didn't surprise me. It mm. and. 
you know, earlier on when they're like, you have to learn to let go. Like, I was like, yeah. okay, so he's not going to bring his wife back, but something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I, but so they hinted at it a lot and it was very quick. Uh, but the part that really got me was when like, when she does die and I was like, okay, yeah, just bring her back already. But then there's those flashbacks where it's like, it's like her raising her. And I was like, I was, yeah. I was gone. I was yeah. like, okay, this, mm-hmm. this is good. I like this. That was well done. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But you're right. It is very D D. <laughs> it's like, Oh no, oh, well. she's dead. Oh, revivify you back. <laughs> Anyways. Get back up. <laughs> yeah. Get back up. I would have liked, I think it would have done well as maybe with a sequel or like as a trilogy. Mm-hmm. Although I understand why they didn't do that because they weren't sure if it was going to be popular. Mm-hmm. But it would have given us more time to actually get invested in the characters. I think that I agree, but I also th- I think th- what they could have done better was like had her die a little earlier because she didn't do anything during that fight anyways. <laughs> they, it was just a spell battle with the owl bear and the dragon. Yeah. She didn't really do a whole lot except get in that globe. And, like, roll around, come back, and then get stabbed. So, um, I think it would have been fine if she would have, like, like when they were trying to get the horn or something, like, she, like, sacrifices herself and then dies. Yeah. Then she's dead for, like, a little while. They find out, sad, oh, now we can bring her back. And yeah. then it's, like, th- that. I, it, it would have had a little bit more of an emotional impact. Where she had, like, a me- it was a meaningful sacrifice. Yeah, not exactly. Just like, not just, like, oh, I, I got stabbed off screen. Yeah. <laughs> Because we weren't particularly invested in the wife either. Like, we didn't have enough time, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was fine. I liked it anyway. Yeah. I gave it a solid 8.5 out of 10. I think that's a good score. Yeah. I give it 0.5 more points because I like D&D so much. <laughs> but that's the only reason why. But it's definitely not a 10 out of 10. It's, it's definitely like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I would take my half point off just because I had to go to the theater and I hate the theater. <laughs> oh, but you, you didn't like that little message right at the beginning when they were like, thank you. You're a that movie was- <laughs> hero. It, 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 right before the movie starts, first of all, there's like... Behind oh, the camera, a, a man s- has a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a... Please well, enjoy my movie. That, there's don't like kill a me sh- if you don't. There's a sheet and it says D&D Honor Among Thieves and then like a dragon behind the sheet, like rolls into it like a cat a few times yeah. and then like burns it. I was like, what was the point of that? That was, I and, liked that. Uh, but what, like why? <laughs> why was that there? <laughs> For the vibe. For the vibe? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we really need to set up the vibe to the D&D a, movie. A dragon. A dragon needs to like be behind a sheet. Did you, did you hear Grace in the beginning of the movie during one the... One of the funniest things, please, the, please continue. No, I was going to say that that was one of the funniest things she said. <laughs> they did the whole thank you message and she's like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's a lot of pressure to watch a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I can get out of here. You now have a responsibility. To, for those of you who don't know, just before the movie starts, it like, it does that first bit. It fades to black and then the cast is sitting like candid in some chairs like on we the are set. Right now. Like we are right now. And they go back and forth talking about how much they like the movie theater. And they're like, in D and D you have to be a hero and you guys are heroes because you came to the movie theater. So thanks for watching it in a movie theater. You're a hero. You're a movie hero. And then the movie starts and it's like, what? Oh my. And it, is, it is like, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. That's how it feels. <laughs> At first, I was like, wow, that's really cool. It kind of like brings us into the D&D game. And then I was like, I didn't even want to be here to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry I got it in the, the DFX loud ass fucking hate, theater. That's okay. Yeah. Craig yeah. gave me his headphones. Mm. And so. That's great. It yeah. was okay. Uh, I I really like movie theater. I don't get to go a whole lot as of recently because of the baby. But uh, I, I really enjoy sitting in a big old space and it being really loud. I like to feel my vo- bones vibrate mm-hmm. because I want to I want to immerse myself so hard that I'm not in the real world anymore. And the louder it is, the more my senses deprivate. I have the opposite problem. No. Cool. There's too many senses. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's overload. Yeah. <laughs> My least favorite part of specifically the DFX is the start where they do two very loud. Yes. Like, it's like an announcement of look how loud we can make the theater. Yeah. yeah it's like it's like a test and it goes like. 
yeah, I hate it. It's all these sounds, and they're so loud, and it yeah, it, it like sends a chill up your spine. But like to you, you have to like plug your ears. Makes me want to leave. Really, yeah. though, really. The speaker getting stuck halfway through. Yeah, that was really scene. weird. Yeah. Yeah, in the middle of the yeah, right when the displacer bees showed up, it, there was a speaker that was just like. It was we're like, so what awful. the fuck? Yeah, it was it was bad. The displacer beast displaced the sound. It did. Yeah. It showed up and it just fucked everything up. No, I was like, is this part of the movie? But then it was like right. back here. And I was yeah, like, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a good time. It was fun. The movie's good. Um, it is. Go see I'm it. Watch it again. Be a hero. I would also watch it again. Be yeah, a go hero. Be a movie go hero. Watch the yeah. And go 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 <laughs> overload your senses and go see it in the You wouldn't the steal movie a theater. car. I actually, despite hating the movie theater with all my being, I enjoyed watching it in theaters. That's good. Okay. I, it just feels different. Like I just, I went to the movie theater a lot as a kid and like watching a movie at home versus watching a movie in theater is a completely different experience. Like in how you take in the movie, mm-hmm. at least, at least to me it is. Um, I, I respect the movie a lot more when I watch it in theaters. I just watch it at home and I can like, I can turn it down or pause it. I'm like, I own you, movie. But when I'm in the theater, it's like the movie owns me. I wish they had subtitles. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That would have been nice. I agree. I agree. They have those things for people where you, it's like it's like a the, it's like a you can put it. It's, is it yeah. glasses? I don't know what it is, no, but it's like a it's like machine. A, it's like a thing that you. I think most of them you they put in like the cup holder, and then it's like a little thing that. It's like a subtitles. screen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. true. I, I think they call them closed captioning devices. Yeah. should just ask for those. They give us 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you need 11 we're, of them? We're like, all, we all are hard, we're all hard of hearing. Hard of hearing. Yeah, um, sorry. And some of us... <laughs> We've seen a lot, a lot of the, that, most of the yeah. <laughs> Everyone's neurodivergent. Yeah. No That's why we got GFX. We can't, yeah, we can't I like to read. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. to read and see the yeah. movie at the same time. <laughs> Agreed, yeah. Um, it's been so great watching uh, shows with with Mia and Craig because they were like, can we turn on the subtitles? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, except for Ava, we're watching, um, Neon Genesis even, is it Gellion or is it Jellion? Uh, Evangelion. Galian, got it. We're, we've been watching it, and it's very good so far. But the subtitles on Netflix yeah, are gone. are not even like a little wrong. Very it's, wrong. It, very, yeah. it's, it's a completely different yeah. sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist is like that too. Yeah. I really? can never turn them on on Netflix. <laughs> they match so on Hulu. Up. Yeah, they yeah. don't on Netflix. Yeah, so I don't it's know like why. they yeah. sat down someone and put them at like the very end of a room with subtitles <laughs> and went right translate translate what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, uh. uh, like here they bring the new intern in. And they're like, you're going to type this real time. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> <laughs> he just has to remember. He's like behind. He's like, Time's shit. Time's too speed. <laughs> I don't fucking, like, he, said, he said, uh, cool, thanks, I think. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. That was, that was a few seconds ago. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Attack on Titans are good, but they will sometimes, they want to put the speaker all the time. And so sometimes they don't want to spoil things. So they don't say but they still have to put something. So they'll sometimes like, <laughs> they'll put like, uh, like human 87 a, oh it'll like God. say yeah. that or like soldier 87 a. And yeah. what that's already a spoiler. It's like, well, that guy doesn't matter. <laughs> like whoever yeah. that guy is, he's either going to die or never going to, we're never going to see him again. <laughs> My favorite thing about it. And I, I guess if you're at this point in the show, you already know, but for all of the, you know what? You've never seen the show. So I'm not going to say that. No, I'm yeah. not going to say that. There was another thing I was going to say, and I was like, "Well, if you haven't seen it, then probably shouldn't say it." Well, Caught it, myself. Uh, you guys want to? You guys want questions? You guys want to yeah. see some questions? Okay. Off. Right. So uh, this isn't even a question. This is just here. Fallen Monk said, "Which one should be my Facebook profile picture? I want to intimidate my bullies, but at the same <laughs> time show off how chill and a, f- a fun guy I am." Okay. All right, here we got number one. Is that a sword? Right. Okay. All right. All right, there's number one. Okay. Okay. Here's number two. Oh, I think I think you should always show your face. Yeah, I think um, the face is pretty good. You're kind of making a... He's looking a little devious. Good. Um, so I guess I could show off leave a little him, how friendly Leave him guessing is. your intentions. Yeah, yeah. But this one's kind of like... That one's pretty oh, good. That one's mysterious. Kind of, that, one, that one's oh. kind of giving me a... Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah it's kind of... Yeah, yeah. 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 Man, you're kind of ripped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. So... So which so which one are we saying? This one? Do we want to take bets on whether or not that's a bleach sword? 
Um, DM him. Is Ask. it a bet that you'll win? Do you know if it's, is it one I, of them? It looks like one, but I can't tell whose it is. You know I was what? making I take a it back. berserk reference. So, I take it back. Um, do do number one. Number I agree. Yeah. Number one's pretty cool. The one's mysterious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And your arm looks hella good. It, it does. All right. But if he crops it, then you don't know if it's a sword. Yeah, you do. What what would you think that is? What do you you look at that? One of those. You think that's something else? <laughs> I think I would assume that it was like a metal beam. Or Just something. a beam? Why would he hold it? That's cool too, though. Cool too, though. Like yeah, a box cool. or He's really into board. construction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how he got those arms. That, well, Lifted beams. I feel like most people would be more likely to carry a metal beam than a whole sword. That's fair. <laughs> Although I guess it depends on what side of Twitter you're on. Somebody just put this in the replies. It says, this prison of flesh cannot hold me forever. And it's just a little guy. Oh. Hell yeah. It says, eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are closed, hands are still, feet are quiet. It's like a kindergarten oh, poster. Oh, it's the ADHD uh, <laughs> directions. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this my whole life? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm just reading through. Uh, uh, fill, in, fill in my... I, my, my... I did. I, I asked for questions today as well. Well, you got one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, the tomato asks... <laughs> um, for Jacob, since the comment at the start of the last episode got me intrigued, have you been reading Berserk? If so, at what point are you in the manga? What are your thoughts about it as a whole, and how do you think the story will continue? Wait. For Craig and Spencer, and also for you, because you are our guest today, tell us about a series slash game slash other thing that you've really gotten into recently before Jacob start, starts ranting. Also, Craig Bazinga. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a new thing now. Yeah. Like, it's not a new thing. It's kind of old, too. I started reading Berserk. It's very good. Well, it's all right so far. I'm not like I'm not like raving about it. I've watched the show a little bit, and then I started reading it, and so far it's been pretty good. Not what I expected. I did not know there was going to be a naked little fairy boy um, mm-hmm. in a lot of this, but mm-hmm. that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just reading through it, and um, I have no thoughts about what will happen in the future i i barely the started guy is a villain. i've read like the first chapter and i was oh, like that's, that's pretty cool mm-hmm. still in uh, the black swordsman arc mm-hmm. um and i've i've watched a little bit of the show from the 90s which is the golden age arc and i'm gonna get to it at some point but that's it i'm i've barely even dipped a toe oh, no rant for you guys today. nope that's it i just saw you try not to laugh at something i just i just saw you try not to laugh at something craig what was uh, it that guy who was um Asking us for his profile, mm-hmm. yeah. Image. I went and looked at his his, his Twitter feed, mm-hmm. yeah. And there, <laughs> there's a a meme he posted. God damn it! There's a meme he posted that's mm-hmm. um. Let me see if I find it real fast. It's oh, no. um this that says clearly what? you're not a Lowe's pro shopper. <laughs> and I was like, I'm right, gonna get out of here. So I was right. It was a metal beam. <laughs> it was a metal beam. Yep, at Lowe's. <laughs> Tony Stark. Yeah, I'll take it out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm hacked up. Uh, are you getting anything, Spencer? Maybe uh, some. Maybe a really cool. I've been really watching cool. My Hero Academia. <gasps> but I, I'm also been watching My Hero Academia. I okay. I gotta be honest. I took a lit, like literally a, a week ago. I was like, I'll take a little break because My Hero's been kind of cool, and I've been watching it. And look, I know, I know, I know. Oh. It's a little cringe. I've heard that. That's what some people say. But I, I really like it so far. I'm mm-hmm. like halfway through season one, and so far I'm like, <clears throat> it's pretty good. I like it. I've just been putting it on while I've been painting. Oh, I just no. watched some random episodes from season two, and I was like, holy shit, this show goes hard. I watched it all the way to like, whatever the latest season on Hulu is, and it was my hero. Yeah, I didn't know that. It was, it was, it was above average. I don't think it wasn't <laughs> it, it wasn't enough for me to like hyper fixate on it and watch it rewatch it 76 yeah. times. No. Mm-hmm. But I didn't regret watching it. The soundtrack is what I'm hyper fixating on right now. The soundtrack goes That's so fair. goddamn hard and it's like the he'll, only thing I've He'll been watch an to. episode and then he'll send me a track and be like this goes so hard. It's so and good. Like, listen to it. And then we'll get in the car and be like listen to this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've heard it. Mm-hmm. I've, I've also watched the show. I I'm gonna wait until I watch a little more, uh-huh. but I have a thing to say about it, and it it really just all boils down to the fact that I really need to rewatch 
Brotherhood, Full Metal Alchemist. I started rewatching re-watch Brotherhood. That. Really? Um, yeah. I've watched it once, and uh, it took a long time. It took like years, but I was like, I finally watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and it was pretty good. It was. Yeah. It's my favorite. I have the tattoo. Really? The- yeah, I don't think I've ever. That's I didn't fucking know that. awesome. That's really cool. Holy shit. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Have you not, never seen this before? No. 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 Yeah, I have the tattoo. You know, what did you. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> calling you out. She's alive and listening. <laughs> what the fuck? That was my watch. You are cool. Oh, please don't anyways, hurt my family. Um, please don't Siri's, hurt my family. Siri's jealous of my yeah. tattoo. Seriously, <laughs> jeez. Um, that uh, that's uh, what did you say earlier? You said like you've only spent. 30 whole minutes in your entire life next to another baby uh, uh, ne- with a human child yes. human child yeah <laughs> it's the same with, with me to you so yeah i'm okay. not seeing that shit that's fair <laughs> i have i have four tattoos actually i have this one which is it's a weenie dog it's a little weenie dog that it's, one i have seen this one was free i don't recommend getting free tattoos you should never <laughs> okay um, <laughs> it's very bad i try i tried to get it touched up look at it I try to get it touched up, and it's still like you can see. That's also the, right on your wrist. Yeah, where the ink bled, and he went Ow. too deep, and the, yeah, it's. I, I no see. Statement. I have a little bit here, and this hurt. I you twice. Ouch. Yeah. Ouchie. This one hurt more up at the top. Mm-hmm. The ones on my shoulder blades actually hurt the most. What do you have in your thing. shoulder blades? I have uh, this one is a shark in a ball gown, and That's this cool. is Garrus from Mass Effect. Shark in a ball gun. I want to see when we're done. You don't have to take your card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Spencer has a bunch, but they're all on her legs. Yeah, until the 10th of next month. What are you getting? Oh. I'm going to get some flowers right here. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to get some Eleanor flowers for my for my baby. That's cool. Yeah. I have an appointment on the 11th to start my sleeve. Oh. With Hell yeah. get the Dragon Age tarot cards. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. really cool. Yeah. Those are so awesome. That is hype. We've been planning it for a while now. I remember cool. Craig talking about it when he went and got his Sonic tattoo. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> he was saying that he might uh, chicken out and then give you oh. his uh, his appointment. Yeah. And then he ended up not doing that. I just remembered no. I actually have six tattoos. Hold oh. on. I am going to take off my card again You're because fine. it's... It I is have, a shark and a ball gown. so cute. Whoa, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Okay, Holy so, shit. So this one is Become Ethereal from uh, Skyrim. And then mm-hmm. this one is Aura Whisper. That's so cool! Holy <laughs> shit, that's awesome! Oh my god, so, that's then, very cool. Uh, Those look really good too. I can show these yeah, two. Shark and ball gown. That's great. That's awesome. Um, what was I was gonna say? Um, what were we talking about before that? Full metal. Full metal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I I uh, watched some of. My Hero Academia, and then I watched part of it that made me cringe and was like, I can't do this anymore. And then I watched some of uh, Full Metal, and then I ended up going back to My Hero. But eventually I'll go back and rewatch My Hero has not made me cringe yet. We watched uh, Full Metal over like six months with Colton in uh, our previous apartment. and Full Metal uh, like five times. I've seen the first four episodes of Brotherhood like five times mm-hmm. to the point where we've argued about it before on the podcast and you're you you have the tattoo so i'm, I'm, I'm about to yeah I, I it's about to get oh, yeah. i don't know why you going. can help yourself up yeah, 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 let's yeah. not right now we're friends where we maybe we maybe we won't be no it's, it's okay <laughs> maybe we'll become the Look, <laughs> rival i be being as autistic as i am yeah i understand yeah. not like okay may's hughes death is not sad uh. <laughs> see, see, what, see, what did I say? I'm saying, what did I say? I'm saying if you rewatched it now as a father, you'd sob. I don't know about that. I've seen it so He's in many one. times. Okay. Takes what it is in. to me now is like, can Maze die already so we can watch the parts I haven't watched yet? You, like, what, good what fucking God. Out. How many times do we have to watch Mustang try his hardest not feel, to cry no, and is, then say that it's is, raining this outside? This is the shitty thing that, that I'm going to call you out for. When, <laughs> when we watched it all the way through, you came in like part way through like season one because you were like i'm not re-watching this show and colton and i started watching it and you do the thing you always do we go i'm not gonna watch it and then you see half of an episode and you're like okay i'm gonna watch it now 
So I whatever. feel like you didn't get all of the emotional impact yeah, whatever. of him taking them whatever. in. I think yeah, whatever. the I th- best way to watch it is yeah. at the same time, Brotherhood and 2003, like together, because... <laughs> watch them at the... Like compare yes. notes? Yes. <laughs> Go back and yes. forth? Yes, you should, you should watch them literally like concurrently because... 2003 explains a lot of stuff that Brotherhood doesn't, Mm -hmm. although technically it's not canon because it's not from the manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to watch the original because a lot of people have said that there are parts from it that are really good, you know, sans the ending. um, Yeah, it's just, there's some of it that you should just not pay attention to because it's not a very good explanation, but mm -hmm, there mm -hmm, are mm -hmm. good explanations So, okay, I should say that, I'm sorry, we were talking about questions and now we're just going to talk about uh, (laughs) Full Metal. Um, It did, I I do need to rewatch it because I, I, this is something I've talked about on the podcast before, but there are things that I have watched when I didn't have um, what we've called what are you good? My phone almost fell. Oh, um, <laughs> well, we've been calling in like our what are the, the updates? Because you, no. your cells reset every oh, like seven molting. years. Yeah, you're molting. Yeah, you molt, and so like my brain just finished developing technically. So there's stuff mm-hmm. that I've gone back and watched, and like with developed adult brain, been like, yeah. oh, I have a newfound appreciation for this. That's you're like fair. technically, what? I watched, I finished Full Metal like two and a half years ago, like 2020. That was more than that. Have you gotten 2019? It's probably. Yeah, I think it was almost four almost four COVID. years ago. Yeah. So, anyways, I watched it when I was you know not adult brain. I think like we we're almost there. So, and it also took like I technically started it when I was like eighteen or nineteen, and then rewatched it constantly up to a point where I was just like, can we just fucking finish the show? Because I want to watch it. I want to finish it. So then we like we went through all of it, um, but like. That we took huge breaks in between. So we'd watch like an arc and then take like not watch it for three months, then watch more of it. And I'm like, I think I just need to go back and like re binge all of it kind of at once and then see what happens because I like full metal alchemist. I think it's good. I there, I just have a lot of things with it, but that for some reason, nobody else seems to agree with like, like uh, whatever. I'm that like, takes- I don't like this thing. And I, I didn't like this thing. Everybody's like, what, what, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I should rewatch it. <laughs> Cause maybe it was just the way that I, that I watched it that, that yeah. Cause I not, not only did I think like Macy was, I think it's just so desensitized to me now, which is the reason why. But also, what's her name? May? The girl with the little panda? Mm-hmm. I I don't hate her, but I don't like her. Her, her voice um, tends to trigger my fight or flight response. <laughs> that panda makes me trigger my fight or flight response. I love that little response. panda. Like, this, this show is so grounded and so like like real and like so um you know it's got a lot of like like i don't know what's the word like i guess i guess like grounded it's just like it's very like present and like it makes a lot of sense i like that the magic is a bit of is if like they explain a lot of the rules of it which is very cool and then there's just a little girl who could throw knives and has a panda and i'm like okay <laughs> what the fuck is going on she's cool I think she's all right. You should try wa- rewatching it while you're like playing a game or something. I rewatched it when <laughs> I was Subway playing Jack Mates. <laughs> you should watch it like those TikToks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> should watch somebody cut a cake with like a hot knife. Yeah. <laughs> like you should, it, you should pick out your favorite video game that you want to replay and then watch Full Metal Alchemist yeah, at the same time right. because right. then you're not really paying attention to all the plot holes but you're still like taking in the story yeah. sure. and then maybe you can get through it that way that's fair I guess yeah yeah, I have a hard time rewatching it too, even though it's my favorite. Yeah, the other thing I, I, I and it's just weird because it's not like I dislike it. It's just that yeah. I think I really want to understand because I do like it, and then there's people rave about it for good reason. But there's this things I can't get past, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong, and I need to either interpret this differently or something. But like the beginning of that show always annoys me because it it over explains everything. And it's like, I don't need to know yeah. how the alchemy works for like the hundredth time. I get it. I know how it works. It but then like they that. always re explain it. And I, I'm wondering if it's just because it is an adaptation of a show that already existed. So they're like, we're catching everybody up. We're kind of moving along kind of thing. I don't know. But like, whatever. I, I think I do need to rewatch it. It 
it does get a little bit repetitive. I I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You have to you have to do it where most of your brain is doing. It's something just doing else. something else. Yeah. All right, fair. That's 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 fair. That is actually how I did start watching it. Was I didn't even why well, I wasn't even watching it. They. It, <laughs> Why are you so upset? Because you do this with every show. You're like, I don't want to watch it. I'm not going to. And then I start watching it, and you go, Can we restart it? And you I'm do like, the I same thing with me. In. You do the same thing with me. Anyways, it's, it's the ADHD. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened with Attack on Titan. I was watching. I was just watching an episode, and you were like, We should watch this. And I was like, Well, all right. Yeah. But um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, they, uh, Spencer and Colton were watching it, and I was editing, and I was just like. Like watching the background, I was like, "This is kind of, hmm, this is kind of." If cool. I remember yeah. correctly, you came in like an episode before Maze Hughes died. But no, I'd already seen all of that though. I think you guys got finally got past it, and I was like, "Oh, the interesting stuff is happening now." Did you get to the part where they get to Fort Briggs? And Sloth comes up from below. Yeah, I really That's like my that. Favorite arc. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that part's really cool. I really like what's her name. Olivier? Olivier? She's yeah. awesome. Yes. Yes. I love her. She's my favorite. Yeah, um, she's very cool. Um, it was Yeah, weird. once we got to there, I was like, oh, thank God. We're yeah. not in this beginning part yeah. that I've been stuck in for years. And then it stops <laughs> explaining alchemy to you every yes, single episode. Yes, it, tra- <laughs> it fucking treats me with respect finally. Yeah. It's like, all right, now you get to infer what's going on. And I'm like, oh, anybody could be envy. And I was like, that and that, yeah, it was just cool. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. It does, I will say, while I was playing Dragon Age when I rewatched it, it did help me, like, tune back in every episode. But <laughs> if I was only watching it, I'd be mm-hmm. like, okay, skip, skip, Sure, skip. sure, sure, sure. I get it. It's cool. I should probably just do that. Full metal, That's the only um, way I can watch TV anymore. I'm going to finish uh, My Hero. I can't same. I can't watch both of them at the same time because I was going to do that because I had that cringe moment and I was like I'm going to watch Full Metal as well mm-hmm. but um, uh, Armstrong is the same voice actor as All Might yes! and my brain went yeah, I can't yeah. do this I can't yes. do this I can't do this <laughs> I mm-hmm. screamed when I yeah. I noticed that I was like, oh my god! Yeah, I can't <laughs> Is he do gonna it. Take off his shirt too. Yeah. <laughs> what's um? What's the what's the guy with the glasses that looks like Markiplier in My Hero Academia? With the with the jet legs. Oh, Ida. Ida. Yeah. 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 Every time he comes on screen, she was watching and go, "Hey, everybody! It's Markiplier!" Because he kind of just looks like Markiplier. But um, I found out that his voice is Ervin. <laughs> it's Ervin. <laughs> yeah. like, eh. And now I can't unhear it. And now every time he comes on screen, I go. Who's the real enemy? And then, um, <laughs> Who's the real enemy, Deku? <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Uh, Kachan is uh, the same voice actor as Connie from um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Attack Which on is, Titan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, Craig, what's something you want to talk about that you like? That you've recently liked? I don't know. I'm kind of just riding the wave with everyone else, I think. Yeah. For yep. the time being. Um, yeah. I, I tried to get him to play Dragon Age, but he never finished. I got distracted. It's too bad. Yeah, I'm busy. Um, (laughs) He didn't even get to meet my favorite character. He's busy with Destiny. Is that the bald guy? Uh, No, no, no. The bald guy, Solus? Uh, He's not my favorite, but he does have a great romance. (laughs) Solus? It's tragic. He's evil! (laughs) I know, that's the best part. (laughs) Ugh. Because he's trying to destroy the world. So you're like, no, I can change. I can, I can I fix the him. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I it ne- never works, but I I never beat try. Inquisition, but I know that he's evil. <clears throat> I, I really like Origins. Origins is my favorite one. I played that for the first time recently because I had hardware issues. <laughs> it is issues. not age. <laughs> it is not age well, it no. It is but ugly. I had so much fun. <laughs> it's it's such a good game, though. Yes. It's so good. I love all the characters in that game so much. I didn't know that if you romance Alistair, you can become <sighs> queen. I was oh, like, there's so nice. many ways that game can end, especially with Alistair. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you, he, he fucks Morrigan. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting that either. Mm-hmm. I was like, it started happening. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. that's what you meant. Mm-hmm. I see. I just like the <laughs> beginning of that game too. It's just like, all right, pick your, pick your race, pick your class. All right, you you start here. And I'm like, oh, this feels like a role playing game. This is yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that game. You're just, it's like you shove some random dumbass out into the world. Exactly. 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 I just want to be a random dumbass in the world. That's all, that's all I ask. All right. That's why I liked, I played Inquisition first. um, Mm -hmm. And 
it really felt like that too, where you just some random idiot. Yeah, yeah. But then the the only issue I had with that one was like, you're a random idiot. And now you're a war leader. And I'm like, yeah. okay, can I be a random idiot who's going around doing little quests? Why do I have to be a war leader? I don't want to be a war leader. Go do negotiations in I the like, heartlands. And I'm like, I'm done. I, I liked Dragon Age too because you start off as a dumbass and yeah, then yeah. you continue to be a dumbass yeah, the yeah, entire yeah, time. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't beat two either. But um, I, it, it was, it was, it, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I think I like two the most out of all of them, which I know I feel like I think that's a pretty controversial opinion because yeah. a lot of people really hate two, but mm -hmm. I thought it was excellent. You really need to talk with Grace. Grace loves those games. Grace really likes Dragon Age and she's Bioware in general. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was surprised it came out in 2014 in Inquisition because how garbage it ran. <laughs> I I had a very unique experience though, I think. It's not a feature. It's it's I'm sorry. It's, it's not a bug, it's a, bug, a, feature. It's a feature. Thank you. There you go. No, look, yeah. I, I've played enough Mass you know Effect not 1 to know that, that, that <laughs> that's, that's just the Mako's fucked and that's just the part of the game. Yeah. But I came with that command in 2014. I think Inquisition... Mass Effect 1 was 07. I think Inquisition might be more buggy than Skyrim and that's really I made the first. Oh my god, I had to yeah. remake my character three times. I was like, God, this looks like garbage. Yeah. And I finally settled the one and then my first character model broke in the first cutscene. <laughs> You're 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 crawling up the mountain. Yeah, my yeah. model is off the ground, <laughs> crawling out of the camera shot. Oh my god! Like you see feet at one point. You're like, and I'm going. Like, and, 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 see ya. And Lisa's there. like sitting next to me at the my desk, and weird. she's like, "Is it good?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> it's awful." It and I was like, "Just power through it. It's fine. It'll fix itself." And it got worse. It got worse. <laughs> like, in the camera's position, my camera wasn't even in the shot, <laughs> but you could see like my hands slowly yeah. trying to reach and I was like what the fuck is this game did you make it this isn't is week one this isn't day one patch it's, uh, it's nine years it's old it's a small indie company what do you yeah, 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 small, yeah. it is a small indie well, company it's just Bioware and fucking Andromeda's bad no yeah. no Andromeda's good did you make it up the mountain I did. Oh, I, I did. It's a cutscene. I did five it seconds of the game. <laughs> the I'm convinced like that's the entire reason why the Black Emporium exists is because you you like get to the first cutscene, you're like, oh god, <laughs> you have to go change your character's appearance. The yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, um, that happens to me a lot. Yeah, that character, dude. Yes, you make your character in that game, and you're like, I look good, and then you see a cutscene, you're like, oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Why do I look like that? I didn't realize there was like a, I don't know if it's like a time-saving thing where they just paint the eyebrows onto the model. <laughs> and I'm like, this is garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the you fuck? To, I'm telling you, you this have is a to bio it. Yeah, the beards look really weird in Everything that game. looks like utter shit. No, but here's the thing. What I've noticed, because not only do you, but Sari also loves Dragon Age Inquisition. Mm -hmm. Grace loves Dragon Age Inquisition. And do you, do you, do you when no. you play that game? Do you do you have a female PC that you play, or do you play like a male PC? I didn't start with a female one, but I do okay. have one now. Okay, okay. The what I've noticed is that because Victoria really wanted, Sari really wanted me to get in the game. So yeah. when she was here one time in our old apartment, she was like, "I'm gonna," I'm like, "I, I tried to play this game, dude, and I don't like it." She's like, "All right, I'm gonna sit here and help you play." And I was like, "Okay," and she was just appalled at how ugly the guys looked, yeah. <laughs> and I was like. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? It's just the, the, the women, the female character model just looks better. And then we did it. I was like, it does! The female character model just looks a hundred times better. I had the opposite problem. Actually, I started... To, I. I first tried it with a female character mm -hmm. and the animations were so awful for yeah, the women because yeah, yeah. they like, yeah, yeah. they do yeah. that, yeah, they that do weird that, like, like fucking, shitty yeah, yeah, yeah. run and I'm like, nobody runs like that. <laughs> That's why I had to play that fucking first part four yeah. times because I built I, I built a dwarf it broke and I was like alright I'll hold on to it and the next yeah. scene you're in, you're in chains and the character's arm is like this yeah. and they're walking like whole body playing a dwarf in any <laughs> and I was like this is garbage so fucking funny utter trash in Origins the arms are so <laughs> fucking <laughs> long they clip into him yeah Logan, I was like this is terrible Logan played Dragon Age uh, Origins when I was playing which is like back in high school and he played a dwarf like a Really old dwarf, and then romanced Morrigan. Oh like, no! Hey, bro, look! And I looked at the screen, and it's the cutscene. It's Morrigan. Like, like you, you need to just look her up. You look up what Morrigan looks like, and then on the other side, it's like one of the dwarfs from The Hobbit, who's just like, who's like this. He's like, 
Oh and the, but it's a really <laughs> shitty model. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? They basically take the top half of a human and uh, stick yeah, it on yeah. short little legs. And you're like, what the fuck is oh this? God, so Looks like shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the yeah, elf's I, too long and it warped everything. And I was like, oh. great, I'm playing base human male. I hate that. I, um, <laughs> I broke, so I modded it. And I accidentally really, really broke it. And I got... Cullen to romance my dwarf character. <laughs> it was the, because he was never animated for a short character. Oh so my she's god! Like, she's oh like no. in his stomach. <laughs> Ew! <was> Gross. <laughs> he like pushes her up against the rampart wall. <laughs> she's like halfway through the wall. <laughs> Have you shown him um, bull? Have you? Seen... You could get him to play the game if you just showed him bull. I don't like Iron Bull. Oh yeah, you don't. Great. I know it's nuts. I, I don't. How? D- why not? I think it's kind of fucking annoying. Oh, I think well, it's really right. stupid. Yeah. Okay, well, I like. <laughs> apparently, I like all the characters that Lacey hates. <laughs> yeah. So, well, which characters do you like? Um, I like. He likes uh, Vivian. I do. I, I do. I like Vivian. Vivian. She's the she's the mage that says that everyone should go back to the circle. Oh yeah. I do. I do like Vivian. I also like um, his name Blackguard. Is that his name? Blackwall? Yeah, Blackwall. I like him. And mm-hmm. then I, I like the archer woman. What's her name? Oh, yeah. She's cool. Sarah. Sarah. I like yeah. Sarah a lot. Yeah. Um, I think they, yeah. they're pretty cool. Uh, I think the dwarf's probably the coolest, but he's just like, you're just too cool, so I don't I don't put him in the group. If you, <laughs> I'm like, God damn, you're cool. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. If you romance Blackwall, he fucks you and then leaves the next day. Oh! That's oh, funny. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. And then you find out that his identity was fake the whole time. Oh. Hit it and quit it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Did yeah. you just say hit it and quit it? <laughs> I did. Damn. Damn. Um, <clears throat> man, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I never really got far enough in that game. It just doesn't keep my attention, and I don't know why. I'm really just real critical of everything you like right now. <laughs> it's fine. You know what? Skyrim's awesome, though. <laughs> I tried to replay Skyrim, and I got five minutes in, and I was like, I'm bored. Did you mod it? Yeah, I... How so, long did you spend modding it? Uh, too long. But <laughs> Because what I, I've noticed is I have more fun modding the game and then playing it for like a few minutes and going, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got tired of having to install like 600 mods every time. So I've gonna, been playing the same character. I was going to bring up that uh, when you were saying the, the, the female character in Dragon Age does that like walk. I was like, that just reminds me of fucking Skyrim mods. Yeah. Because every time you scroll goddamn Nexus mods, there's like 30 <laughs> mods are like, it's it's uh, the the increasing levels of sexier. how how much hip sway you can get in your character's yeah. walk. And it's yeah. like, Jesus. Massive anime Christ. titties. Yeah. <laughs> Massive anime titties mod. <clears throat> um, yeah. Realistic vaginas. <laughs> What is it called? Well, uh, Schlongs get that of Skyrim? The There's a, there is a mod called Schlongs of Skyrim. <laughs> and there you is. just give yeah. everybody some rock and cocks. I, okay, oh, yeah. speaking Good. of... Um, of I what? Of what? We're going to segue into that. <clears throat> Even the Argonians. <laughs> and the Khajiits. There's a mod for cats. Dragon Age Origins to like have more ris- realistic bodies. And I was like, okay, that's great. It'll take away the extra long dwarf arms. <laughs> But what actually happened is that, and I don't know how to uninstall it, 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 it replaced <laughs> the naked um, character models now. They no longer have underwear, and it's just... <laughs> Are they Ken dolls? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> no, they, have... <laughs> they have what? It's, it's all out. They have they what? Have, they have very visible turgid members. <laughs> turgid members. <laughs> So, you know the DLC? Are you saying that everybody has a dick if, if with the mod? <laughs> well, I mean, not the women, but yeah, oh, Well, basically, okay. I thought that that's yes. what you were trying to say. No, but uh, I was... Okay, I'm... I don't, I'm going to get fired for this, but I was in a Zoom meeting. <laughs> oh, no. I was in a Zoom meeting with, with, for, um, with my boss, and I was playing Dragon Age, and we, I was doing the, the DLC mm-hmm. where you go bury, what's his name, King Kalen. Mm-hmm. And you know how he's, he's like tied up on the cross or whatever? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and <he's just> <laughs> no! No! And his dick's no! just like eye level. And I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there with like trying to keep my face straight while I'm just staring at this on the screen. It. My boss is up in the corner and I'm like, mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> very professional. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, uh, that always shocked me when I would play Cyberpunk because I know mm. they were all like, oh, you can change your dick size in Cyberpunk. It's like, all right, cool. But you go through the character creator and you're like, ah, my eyes look like this. My hair looks like this. My face looks like this. You scroll down one. You don't even do anything. You just push down and the game's like, dick. And you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I did not expect to see that. It just, it's, and, and it, it has physics. So, yeah, oh my God. It, it like bounces. And you're like, it's, Jesus. It's also nice. like a character model thing where you like, it zooms in. Yeah. And the character model kind of jolts. Yeah. So like everything's And it goes like, uh, and it goes like, you're like, whoa, you're like, whoa. Stop. And you're like, oh my God, wait, oh, <laughs> circumcised or uncircumcised? Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. See, if they had yeah, physics, I, I feel like that would have been different, but it's just like, like sticking straight out, yeah. like, and I'm like, what? The Wait, f- he was no. hard. <laughs> yes. <You> even- <laughs> Probably the chicken just walked off. This has never happened. <laughs> she did. She she said turgid. Christ. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of prisoners that don't wish <laughs> <laughs> you have to like, oh, no. it stays that way even when they're cor- <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> hard after death. You're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you die hard, you stay hard. <laughs> you die as you lived. Oh, you, you really do be releasing all of your body fluid when you die. You do. So, and then Origins has the thing, the bodies don't disappear, they just stay there. Oh. So you walk back through and you're like, just, what? There's, 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 what? there's, there's, there's spikes what? everywhere. It's, it's like you're you're like trying to walk through the, the crime scene of an orgy or something. You're like, I don't remember what the fuck happened here. <laughs> but, Good fucking God, that's funny. Oh. I don't know how to uninstall it. <laughs> I don't think you should. I don't think you should. I, I tried. I'm afraid. Just. It was like you can remove this file just to uninstall it, and I was I removed it, and then I log I went, got back in the game, and they were still <laughs> still, still showing up. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like doki doki. It's cocks scary. everywhere. Yeah. You can stop the dark spawn, and you can't yeah. stop the cock spawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Spawn. All right. That's that's it. Yeah. <laughs>